Everyone who has put their feet in the sand and gazed out on the ocean has seen its power. And I guess it's just part of the human condition to want to battle it. A contest that cannot be won. What kid hasn't built a sandcastle knowing it'll be destroyed? There's no sadness in watching the sea destroy the sandcastle, wave by wave. Rather, there's a joy and satisfaction for having lasted so long. And in the end, it's not the victory we are after, as defeat is certain. It's the dance. It's the contest. It's the desire to measure ourselves against nature's most powerful force. In each year, I climb into a small plastic boat and fling myself out into the waves. It's the feel of the salt spray and the wind and the rise and fall of the ocean. It's the sound of the wave roaring around me and the weight of the water crashing down. You have to harness the power and you have to dance the dance and there's nothing else like it. Yet you must always remember that despite her beauty, the sea is not your friend. And though she is not your enemy, she never ceases to be the sea. And while you're there, you will never stop being measured. Have your fun, enjoy the moment. But remember, you're just a sandcastle, and she's coming for you. Let's dance. Here's the sandbar. Oh 
Oh yeah, walk right up out of it. Should be crazy water up in here. Whoo, that's some big ocean, Ryan. Paddle stroke it, stroke it. Yeah! Remember, look into the wave, don't look away. It's a bad habit. Don't look away. Keep your head straight. You can tilt your head down like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, oh. Paddle stroke. Better. Yes, that looked good. Again. Yes. Chuck, this time. Put your paddle to the side and chuck. Well, I guess that's exactly what I told her to do. <laughs> that was funny. Look into it. That's better. Look down like that. You ready? Take a stroke and look down. One, two, three, go. Again, take a stroke and look down. Nice. That was good. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can catch a wave in. folks I'm here at the ocean with world-famous Graham Biggs yeah. this is his first time putting in on the ocean so it's a little bit of fun the seas are a little bit rowdy this morning they, they've calmed down since when I woke up tides going out they're bigger than they look the winds calmed down yesterday was crazy I think it's gonna be fun what's your first thoughts I'm ready. He's this ready. Be great, man. Let's get on. You look like a pro already. I'm almost there. Oh yeah, I'm floating. Yeah. Woo! Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll catch that. We gotta open the account somewhere. Oh yeah. way there careful Oh yeah. 
ับA big wave. The next two. This I gotta catch it. Oh yeah! Careful, these will be a shore dumper. These will blow you over on the sand. I hurt you. Park right off of there.
don't think we have a choice, Graham. That's the big one. Fun. What do you think, Graham? It's hard to beat, isn't it? <laughs> All right, Ev. Listen, there's some big ones out there. You have to paddle this way a lot so you don't walk too far down the beach. All right? Don't get too close to other boats. You don't want to stack up and smack each other. You got it. If one's going to crash on you and just destroy you, just go ahead and flip upside down and tuck before it hits you. Roll it back. Stay away from the boat, Brian. You don't want to get hit. Yeah, jump in. I'll help you. I need a city.
Yes, sir. Look at you. This is how you do it. Yeah. Good surf session. Got a sunset behind us. Got the waves over there. I don't even know what to say. Oh, man. Just a few more subscribers and we can live like this every day, Graham. All we need is a few more million. <laughs> Friday morning. The Spires have a little bit of time left with us. Graham's got a little bit of time. And then they got to get back to the real world. Uh oh, watch your boat! It's gonna come get you. So we're gonna we're gonna surf one last surf session. High tide's not the best. It's better when tide's low coming in. You kind of gotta watch for shore break, but I think we're gonna be all right. And uh, let's go have some fun.
Yeah, don't worry. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Lean back. All right, we got Evan. He's about to head home. Thank you for coming down and hanging out again. Yeah. Looking really good in the playboat this year. Yeah. Caught a few big ones. Got hammered up once. Yeah. Maybe a couple times. He had yeah. to swim once. That was pretty big. But uh, boys are growing up. Now I'm going to spend a little more time with Graham before he has to leave. Have a good safe trip home, man. Yeah. Be, off, be on the river with you soon. Yeah. Anything you want to say to the YouTube world? Helicopter, I'm doing an interview. Yeah. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, uh, the Marines are running security for the River King World Headquarters here, so it is a little annoying to have the sound, but it's nice to have the added security uh, to kind of keep the paparazzi at bay. But Got a giant bait pod of fish out here. I'm talking millions of minnows everywhere i want to paddle inside them to get them to jump you can see them jumping already this ought to be pretty cool holy moly you don't find predators in places like this do you no. oh yeah Oh yes. folks the fun continues we got adam and ronnie they came down they didn't know i was here they're coming to surf city anyway uh they called me asking a question about kick flips or something so i was like hey come stay at the house so saved them a few dollars at the hotel and adam's going to be trying some kick flips the waves are markedly lower than before but i think they'll still be good enough to have a little fun in and uh, let's go see what we can do you ready adam <laughs> Oh,
together. All right, let's see what it's all about. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's good. It's a two-hander, so I'm going to have to set it down. That was Kevin Champ. Sorry, Kevin. It's too good. I got a camera in one hand, burger in my mouth. All right, folks, we're here with Sydney, world's best waitress. Here at Buddy's. Well, I don't know about the best. Oh, world's best, 100%. <laughs> Ronnie, I gotta show you this. Ronnie's a food smeller. Watch this. He smells it and smells it twice and then he bites it. There you go. He's had a bad experience somewhere. All right, folks, here in the hot tub after a good long day of paddling. What do you say, Adam? Adam's living large. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. He, he served for like two and a half hours, but I started at nine this morning and I'm twice his age. I think he just needs to, to get in his kayak more often. 